I am NeoMC, but you all knew that, and welcome to my tutorial that you have definitely never seen before, on a concept that you definitely never heard of before. Welcome to using a green screen in Minecraft. In vanilla! What's up guys, Neo here, and today I'm going to show you a professional way to make your very own high quality thumbnails. And it's very simple. All you have to do is make yourself a vanilla world and call it Green 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 Screen. Because you know you gotta spell it right. Put it on creative, because why not? And we got all our settings on because who cares? Now, what you wanna do is you wanna give yourself first off, well actually first off, you gotta put your you gotta put your daylight to false, and you gotta give yourself you gotta give yourself night vision. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself this block. It's called concrete. Concrete is a beautiful thing sometimes, and this is a good way to show. So we're gonna fill, eh, let's just do like 30, 30, negative 30, negative 30, concrete, and five. And now everything, you know, lags as it loads, and we're filled with a beautiful green screen template. And now we're gonna go ahead and build a wall. So we're gonna go fill, bam, bam. Why not 120 and then bam. And then we're going to go over here and complete a green screen wall. There. And now, let's do it on the other side. And now we have a green screen. Isn't it beautiful? It, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I have never built anything better than this green screen. This is, look at this, it's gorgeous. It's so great. So now, what would I do with this, you might ask? It's quite easy, actually. Now you can rig up and pose things for pictures. Now we need a picture of this and we need it in any perspective we want. So let's say, let's go ahead and take one on each side. So let's take a perspective, like a direct perspective picture. Now also a friend of me recommended to do this, you know, FO3 like this. So let's take a left perspective picture. Let's take a right perspective picture. And let's take a center perspective picture. All right. So, we have three pictures of this beautiful building. Now, I'm also for the future sake, uh, for another example. Let's go ahead and set up a rig scene. So let's summon a few zombies. Oh, no, they're all on fire. Well, I'm sorry, little dude. In that case, we're gonna use pigs. Okay, so we have a bunch of animals here as well. Let's say we want, oh, actually, let's get them closer together for a second there. Let's push, oh, um, no. Oh, well, I see. Okay, well, in that case, let's just go ahead and take a few pictures of these animals. So, eh. We'll ignore you, I guess. So we can do a collage there. We can do it perspectively like this. Like that. And I guess we could try one like this. Oh, no, that, that would get in the way. Okay, we'll do we'll do one like that too. Okay, so I'm about to show you some trickery. We're about to turn these into thumbnails. So as you guys are aware, I am a fantastic Photoshop guy. I am amazing at this. So we're going to go ahead and get this picture imported. Now, as you can see, there is some slight lighting issues, but for the most part, the uh, the beautiful magic that is um, Minecraft's night vision potion saves me. So I'm gonna raise the tolerance a lot so it grabs every, oh, no, uh-uh. We gotta make sure that we grab it tight, but not, there we, oh, we uh, lost some sand over there. There we go, and there we go. So we have a dirt house now. Oh, okay, got a few extra pixels. Gotta crop out that. And ta-da, you guys have your green screen. You have successfully green screen object. And now, of course, you can take this object. Why is that even in the picture? How did that get in the picture? Okay. But now you can do cool stuff like you can add strokes. Well, okay, I guess you need another background first. Let's add a background picture. There, spacey sky picture. I don't know. I, I took that out of the shaders pack a long time ago. Okay. So let's say you're trying to make a clickbaited um, thumbnail. And you want to be like, coolest dirt house ever made. Or like, this dude built a dirt house. Well, you got your dirt house now, completely beautifully acquired. You can add some effects like stroke. As you can see, it doesn't look good like that. So let's raise the stroke of it, put it to white because white's the best color. Now, of course, you need your arrow. So I'll go ahead and draw a really bad arrow. And you just draw. Oh, hey, got an arrow on the, mar on the uh, thing. We can do a red arrow. Because red arrows are clickbait. Yeah, look at that. Now it's as good as clickbait as ever. Bam. Bam. 
The cow's got some residual in between his legs. Hey, Buster, you. Let me get that. Oh, yep, yep, yeah, there you go. And of course, for some reason, it also puts the recording icons down there. And of course, last but not least, we're going to take these guys. And, um, I have no idea what to do with them. You know what? You guys are going to go. I'm going to put the sheep and the pig on the left side. Yeah, how's that look? And of course, last but not least, let's put that on those as well. Oh, beautiful. Your very own completely clickbait. Oh, hold on. I see something that's bothering me. I got to take care of this now. See this minuscule little green detail right there? That can't, that can't. Unacceptable. Uh-uh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, fine. We'll get out the, the toothbrush and we'll, oh no, we'll get out the eraser. Put it on one pixel, and we will hand trace the green. There we go. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. I have present to you a clickbaited picture made using green screen. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Took a lot of effort to make. However, I have no intention of uploading this video and calling it something involving a dirt. But in all serious, guys, this is actually a technique that you can use. Um, I have used this in the past. In the recent video I uploaded, I actually did use this um, in one of them to create a static image that I could take a picture of. The base idea is, of course, you got to pick a weird color. Now, if you had blue, if you had green in your image, then you can use a blue blue screen instead, instead of green. The idea is just green is such a strange color that you usually don't have things that would, you know, match the same color as this. So... You can make this out of blue. Uh, in my opinion, the concretes are the best option. I used to use wool, but you can make a black screen. You can make a white screen. You could basically make any color you need. And with this, you can basically green screen or black screen or whatever you call it. You can get anything you possibly need out of these materials. You can create a nice map and then you can just magic eraser off the background and you've got yourself whatever was left. And as shown in that picture, we took this dirt house we took on the uh, game and we made a green screen picture out of it pretty pretty nice now there's other concepts you could use this for you could actually create like for example if you had a model you could put the model on an armor stand and then take a green screen picture of that and use it on your game if i had more time when i had the couple of chances to play and record murder run probably would have done that because it honestly those heads look gorgeous but you know you live and you learn but yeah that's about it so again guys i don't know show me your green screen pictures tweet at me on twitter at neo mc creation show me what you do with green screens I'm sure this isn't a new concept by any means. I just wanted to point out, I used this recently and I was like, this actually is a really interesting thing. I wonder if people know about this. And of course, if you don't have Photoshop, I'm pretty sure you can, I have not checked out GIMP, but I'm pretty sure GIMP has a erasing background tool as well. So of course you can use that on GIMP in place of Photoshop, but yeah. Thanks guys. And um, as always, hit that like button down below if you thought this was goofy. Hit that sub button if you're new to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Oh,